says it's launching a campaign against racism in the province. Mass demonstrations, pickets and rallies have been planned. The ANC in the province says the DA-led government has failed to provide houses, sanitation and land to those in need. It says the province's record as the best-run province in the country does not trickle down to black townships. We are going to be more active in taking up cases of discrimination, particularly those that we have seen some in the public and many others that have not been in the public sphere, that we think it's important that we must shine light on racism, we must expose it. Cape Tonians have weighed in. I'm a victim of racism daily because I come from a township where us as the poor and the working class have to commute using trains, buses and taxis into the, in, 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 into, into the middle and upper class areas where buses and trains are normal and taxis are normally full and overloaded. There is racism so thrive in our classrooms. Our teachers are not teaching our children the history that they're supposed to know. They're implementing the history of the older party system still in our schools. When I say it's rough in Cape Town, I think racism um, is all over and it's a, um, it's a concern all over the world. Well, the Premier herself, not a minister, not anyone else, the Premier herself uh, made it public knowledge that she would receive, every, if people had a complaint uh, that's linked to racism, she would receive those complaints directly to her office and she would personally investigate. She wouldn't delegate it, she would do it herself. The ANC says it has also set up a call centre for people to report incidents of racism. Carmel Lochenberg, SABC News, Cape Town.